Okay, hey John, fix a fence out here on a job site. Uh, got uh, we're going to be putting some four foot chain link fence in black vinyl. I just kind of wanted to show you the extreme bias here that uh, we got to work with here. So uh, this is a rock transition here, and it's about 10 feet. So we're going to put uh, a post there, and then we're going to come down and put a post down here, and four foot up we we'll have some fence up there on a bias and uh, I'll show you guys how to make a uh, how to do a bias here uh, for a chain link fence uh, when I get after I get the post set and we'll keep moving forward all right okay I got all the posts set Whoa. here at this uh, transition point here uh, the customer wants a three foot gate up there four foot high so the posts are in the laurel hedges but anyway this is the start of the transition point here as I was telling you so uh, <coughs> there's the rocks there and there's the next transition point there so anyway and everything else is uh, pretty much like on a bias maybe like a one or two cut bias but this is pretty much the extreme bias that uh, we'll be dealing with on this video okay. so so okay. anyway I got the uh, posts all framed in with the chain link uh, uh, fittings I got the rail in the proper position and uh, let me see if I get my finger in there oh there you go okay there's there's the uh, rail that's tucked in there now when you do these uh, like I said before in another video about the uh, the brace bands and the rail ends going up and down and then on the bottom side for the up and then on the top side for the down but anyway this is the extreme bias that we're doing the video for uh, stay tuned and I'll show you how to cut the bias Go ahead. All right. anyway here we are we're at the bias that I've told you I was going to show you that we're going to cut here this is an extreme bias here now once you get your your fabric up here you want to put a, uh, a tie in there basically to keep it at the angle. You want to put your ties up here and keep your angle going down here. And what, what's going to happen here is there's going to be a lot of fabric kind of loose here. So you want to kind of get where you want it at, see where the bar, where you feel the bar is going to go at, and then you count all these pickets over. I've already counted nine. That's nine cuts that I need to make in between here and there in order to put this in. Okay. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm so done. You wanna, what you want to do is you want to make sure when you cut them, you want to try to hide the bar. So the bar will be going down here when you make your cut. It'll hide when we put it in there. I'll show you here when we get it done here. I'll take a couple of pickets out here, and then when I get the uh, bar going here, I'll show you what we're going to do here. There's two cuts. Okay. So if you kind of see what we're doing here, it's just we're just making cuts here all the way down, okay? And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so once I have all, once you have all your cuts made in the proper position, or at least you think that's the proper position anyway, it's trial and error. Tell you what, I'm, it's taken me a while to get this stuff straight too. Anyway, once you have that, you have that. Uh, uh, you put your bar, start putting your bar down in to the picket here, and then you want to make sure that. See where you make the cut, you want to wrap it around, put the bar back into this side. Same thing here. Put the bar back in that side, put it down, put the bar back in, into the fabric, into the fabric. Okay, and sometimes like I said, it's trial and error where you where you want to get your pickets cut at. But uh, for the most part, once you once you know what you're doing. And uh, you kind of see where it's going. Uh, it's really, it's really not that big of a deal. Some people make it more of a big deal than it really is. But I'm telling you, man, once you get this stuff going, uh, and you know what you're doing in this uh, business, chain link industry, then um, it really just kind of put it down in there. Sometimes when you get down to the bottom, it's always a little bit more difficult. But uh, for the most part, there you go. The nine cut bias, fix a fence, LLC, 503.